Hey, what's up everyone? This is Dynamite here. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Renegade Platinum. In the last episode, we um, obviously did some breeding stuff and uh, we got ourselves new starters. Well, they are they are the same uh, well starters that we were using, but they, they have different abilities, so they're technically different. Uh, we obviously have the Thick Fat, Venusaur, and the Adaptability Teflotion, so now we actually have... Uh, all the starters with the different ability, which is pretty cool. I cannot wait for you to try out this adaptability to evolution. Give it a charcoal and pretty much destroy everything. In fact, I'm gonna give that charcoal right now. So I actually use the I use the training thing in the daycare. It actually made it a lot easier to train up these Pokemon, which is pretty pretty good. That's really really helpful. I was kind of thinking about maybe also raising their EVs, but I was like, yeah, I don't want to make this too easy, so I, I'm not going to do that. So, either way, for now though, I am going to... What am I going to give for item to Venusaur? I mean, I do have Miracle Seed and whatnot, and I have the Poison Barb that I could give. Um, I guess I'll just give it a Miracle Seed, right? If I even have that over here. Yeah, let's do that. I kind of want to give it like leftovers or black sludge, but I don't think I have leftovers or that at all. I, I think I have a shell bell, but that's about it. Um, but either way, as you can also see, uh, Tony is level 43, and I do have two rare candies. So you know what we're going to do. We are going to use these rare candies on Tony and get ourselves a beautiful Flygon. And there we go, level 45. Now I'm going to obviously... I, I might use Tony in this gym, but I, I'm gonna try and use others because Tony is the one that's gonna be over leveled here. I just wanted to get the Flygon because uh, I feel like it is gonna be useful in the gym. So there we go, the beautiful Bug Dragon Flygon. Now we also do need to still give a nickname to Venusaur and to Flotion. Uh, once I learn Dragon Claw, um, well, I mean, I am still more of a special attacker, so. I think I'm gonna stop trying to learn Dragon Claw here. Now, I was you running a Dragon Ant set or something, I would have uh, probably uh, given it Dragon Claw, but um, I'm obviously not. I'm obviously more of a special attacker, as you can see by the stats right here. Uh, I still have the Levitate, and uh, yeah, I mean, this, this is pretty nice. This is pretty, pretty nice. Now, do I even have like Fire Blast or Flamethrower or something? Because that would be better than um, the Rock Slide, honestly. But I don't think I have that. No, I don't. Alright. And I don't even know what the way to get that is. Is that actually through the game corner? Because I believe... I remember that being through the game corner. But it's just for health items. There's no, like, moves for it. So I feel like it's somewhere I different. I do think that this place does sell, like... Some of the TMs, right? I forgot what TMs they were, though. We are gonna obviously fight the gym in this episode. Um, it's what we couldn't do last time because we've been go we were going for quite a long time, and I was like, I'll just do it in the next episode um, because I also wanted to train up uh, the, our new Phoenixor and Teflotion, of course. All right, there's just dolls. Is there no TM section in this? Maybe there's no TM section in this. In that case, I don't know where to actually get the TMs. Definitely not here, though. Probably get them somewhere. Uh, for now, I guess we are not going to bother with that just now. Rock Slide will suffice for now, although it's not going to obviously be that useful against the upcoming gym. But nor is really go fire going to be any better. I mean, it is going to be a little bit better, but not by much. Either way. Anyways, moving on here into the gym. Let's go. Um, who do we want to use first here? Um, let's go ahead and try our adaptability Teflotion first of all. And see how uh, that goes. So... I think we have a pretty beautiful team now. All we need is to evolve Electabuzz, which will be coming soon as well. Um, but yeah. I mean, Electabuzz is pretty good at, by its, itself. Like, 
it's not bad on its own. And I feel like I like the buzz with having the psychic is gonna be pretty decent here too. Maybe we should actually give it a twisted spoon. Just to blow, uh, boost that a little bit more. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Alright, let's go ahead and battle some Machops, I guess. And, oh yeah, I did actually learn Flamethrower as well with Teflotion, because I think I learned it, like, at level 39. Um, and my previous Teflotion that didn't have that ability, I think we were only level 38, so it never got Flamethrower. It just stuck with Lava Plume. But I'm happy I got it now, of course. Alright, so we're just gonna destroy everything with Flamethrower, that's just what it comes down to here. Like, this is just ridiculous of how strong this is going to be. Also, I still have Flame Blue. I think I replaced that with something else. Oh, I replaced it with Earthquake. I should give uh, the Flotion Earthquake. I forgot to do that. Um, obviously, I did that, I believe, in the last episode, but I didn't do it now. Okay, let's go ahead and just KO all these tiny mons that really don't serve a as a trap. Really not a threatening. Just get through them. But yeah, it's been a while since I last recorded. Um, actually, I mean that's not like 100% true. The last episode I did record not too long ago, and then pretty much after that I immediately uh, decided to grind up. Uh, the Typhlosion and the Phenosaur to get to a decent level to basically get on par with the rest and I think I'm at a, at a decent level now right with most of my Pokemon that is not gonna make everything too easy so that's great but yeah a lot of stuff happened in the meantime actually between recording this and um, and the last episode um, and I more so mean in the uh, way of like games getting announced. Like we've had the whole Mario Direct. Um, nothing of Pokemon yet, which I'm assuming will come soon because we still need to know more about the Clone Tundra, of course, in Sword and Shield. Now I obviously did a Pokemon Shield um, hard mode playthrough, and I was kind of thinking of. Maybe doing the DLC at some point still. Uh, maybe when the Count Runa comes out, then I can do both the Isle of Armor and the Count Runa as well. But I'm not sure about that just yet. But it's an idea. But I am excited for the Count Runa, from what uh, we have seen at least. I mean, we're getting new Regis, we're getting new legendary birds. We're getting another new legendary that looks kind of weird. Not gonna lie. But that's okay. Alright, let's test out Phoenixor. Give Phoenixor a try against his Hitmon top. That guy had literally all the Hitmons. You know what we need? We need another new Hitmon Pokemon, right? Like we have Hitmon top, we have Hitmon Lee, we have Hitmon Chan. We need another one. We need like Hitmon. Um, I don't know. Hitmon Chuck. I don't know. Hitmon Slam. I don't fucking know, dude. <laughs> uh, I'm bad with coming up with names. Like you've seen with my nicknames. And yeah, obviously I can't name my Venusaur Erica anymore. Because I'm now a male Venusaur. So I have to come up with a different nickname. And once we get Fly, I will actually go ahead and fly to the name Raider and um, name these Pokemon but for right now I just wanted to go through the gym and do that uh, you're a little 41 let's go ahead and switch what's in the front and let's do exactly like I said uh, a little bit ago I'm gonna give him the twisted spoon just to boost that uh, psychic because I feel like that's gonna be uh, very useful in this gym there we go, let's do that. Everyone has an item, right? Yeah. Good. 
All right, let's bubble this guy. Although, no, I can't move through there because he's blocking the path. I don't like that. I'll have to find another way, I guess. Prime Ape coming out. All right. Hit him up with a Psychic. So yeah, they had obviously the Mario 3D All-Stars shown in there, in the Mario Direct uh, for the Mario 35th Mario Anniversary, which I'm very, very excited about because those three games are like some of my favorite Mario games. I wasn't really, like, Sunshine, I didn't really play that much and wasn't really like one of my main, like, favorites. Definitely really, really enjoyed Mario 64 and um, Mario Galaxy, though. Well, I'm very confused on why Super Mario Galaxy 2 is not in the collection. Who knows, maybe we'll get a HD remaster as a standalone for that one. Uh, this Hariyama definitely likes its priority moves. Come on, man. Just let me KO you with a psychic. But yeah, I can't wait for that. Maybe I'll do a playthrough of that. I was actually going to do... Um, oh, well, also, I didn't... don't know if I mentioned it last episode, but Watson did learn Thunderbolt. I don't know if that... He learned that uh, last episode, but... Uh, he learned it. He learned it while I was uh, grinding up Venusaur at Deflosion. Might have been the last episode. I actually don't know. But yeah, I was thinking of uh, actually doing a Mario Galaxy playthrough at some point. Uh, I was actually doing, gonna do that instead of, uh, well, instead of Paper Mario, but I still haven't done Paper Mario either. Um, but yeah, I was going to do Paper Mario, or I was gonna do Super Mario Galaxy, but then Paper Mario comes out, uh, came out, and I was like, oh, I'll do Paper Mario next. Um, so I do still want to do Paper Mario, um, but I do want to record a lot of this first before I do that. Uh, because of, uh, yeah, so I, I want to make sure that I have at least this uploaded. All right, so this is the big puzzle. Let me just battle this guy right now, so I don't have to worry about, worry about that later. But yeah, who knows? Maybe uh, instead of just only doing Super Mario Galaxy, maybe I'll do uh, a playthrough of the 3D All Stars and do it all of them. But we'll see. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it, you know. I gotta start Ordo Origami King at some point first. I'm actually happy now that I didn't do Mario Galaxy uh, yet. Because... Oh my gosh, I almost got KO'd there. Barely survived. I'm, I'm, I'm happy that I didn't do Super Mario Galaxy yet. Because now obviously we got a better version of it. I just realized this is going to be like the third time I bought Super Mario Galaxy, because I also bought the Virtual Console version. Ooh, Polyrath. Uh, let's actually switch out here, go into Venusaur, because I'm obviously low health. But yeah, not only that, we also uh, got a bunch of other Mario news. A uh, pretty much 3D Mario, or uh, sorry, I cannot speak here. Uh, s Super Mario 3D World. That's what it's called, right? Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't think of the name for some reason. But that obviously is getting ported over to the Switch as well, with some extra thing that we don't really know much about yet. That's, I think that's something to do with online or something. I don't know. But yeah. Uh, let's actually heal up Electabuzz here. Um, I am excited though, for all those games. They showed a bunch of other stuff that was just not as, you know, uh, mind-blowing. But yeah, so yeah, a lot of things happened before... Uh, a, lot of, a lot of things happened for sure. Alright, what do I do here? I forgot. I think I actually just have to launch this one over here. And then move it over here first. There we go. And then I have to hit it from this side, and then from the top side, to smash into those things, so I can move the other one. 
yeah, and then yesterday actually they showed off uh, a new Hyrule Warriors game, which I'm very, very excited for too as well. I I'm very uh, excited about as well. Because I played uh, the one on the Switch, Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition, I played that a lot. I have like, I think over 470 hours or something silly like that on that. It, I've played that a lot. I'm still trying to 100% that game and it's it's hard to do that in the Warriors games 100% because there is a lot of content usually in those. Alright, so I, I don't hit that one over there. How do I hit that one? Oh, I actually have to go... Wait, where do I go? I think I have to hit this one. Yeah, that's what I do. Alright, cool. And now I can just walk through here. But yeah, I am uh, very excited about that Hyrule Warriors because it's actually takes place uh, before the events of Breath of the Wild and it has like the Breath of the Wild art style, graphics and, you know, characters from there. You can play as the champions, which is amazing. I'm gonna be very excited for that, but uh, either way, we have reached Mylene, which is amazing. Um, I don't want to do the whole puzzle over again, but my Pokemon needs some healing. Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna heal up anyways, and uh, I'll do the puzzle again off screen, so I'll be right back. Alright, there we go, even with the speed up button, that still took quite some time, but yeah, there we go, all healed up, ready to take on Maylene right here. Um, obviously, I'm gonna lead off with Watson here, because I do have the Psychic, and uh, we'll just see what happens, I have no idea. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and do it. Hello, I'm pleased to meet you. I'm Lilene, and I'm the gym leader. I don't really know what it means to be strong or how I got to be the gym leader, but I will do the best I can as a gym leader. I take battling very seriously. Whenever you're ready. All right, here we go. Maylene. Let's do it. Let's see how high your levels are and what she leads out with. A Medicham. That's not good because... I wanted to go ahead and Psychic you. But good thing I didn't lead with Venusaur, because that would have been actually been really bad. Alright, let's go ahead and just go for the Thunderbolt then, because I feel like that will do more than Psychic. Hopefully this uh, Medicham doesn't have anything crazy. It's going to destroy me. There we go, get a nice little Paralysis. What do you have? You have a Citrus Berry. Alright. And High Jump Kick. That's going to hurt. Oh, wow, that's just a one-shot. Damn. God, Medicham is strong. All right, well, that's not good. Um, Yeah, let's go into Teflotion, I guess. No, I could go for... Um, I could have actually put the Twist Spoon on Teflotion and boost up that extra sensory, but I feel like having Adaptability and having Stab... Um, and having Flamethrower, I think that will just do more damage. Except maybe against the uh, Infernape. I, sh I actually should have put on Earthquake. Although I do have Extra Sensory. Um, could go into Duffel, but... Hmm. Not going into Tony, I don't think. I think I'm just going to stay in. I think that's just probably the best bet I have. So I don't want to take a close combat to the face with Empoleon. Let's go for the Extra Sensory. Yeah, see, there we go, that close combat. That would have done a lot of damage. That still is a lot of damage against my Deflotion. Damn. But I feel like this will KO because it has lower special defense. So I think we should be fine here. Let's see here. Yeah, there we go. Goodbye, Infernape. I feel like Flygon probably would have been better right there, but that's okay. My champ is coming out now. Uh, let's go with the Venusaur. Because I resist the fighting moves, of course. Could actually go for the Sleep Powder here. In fact, let's do it. Oh, that's Protect. I should have used Growth. Oh, that's Protect Flame Orb. So now I can't even put it to sleep. Damn, that sucks. Um, I think the best thing I can do here is just go for Pedal Dance. Just do as much damage as possible. Could have tried to set up a growth, but... 
I don't think it's really necessary. Payback. Uh, this is guts boosted. This is gonna hurt. Oof. Yeah, that definitely hurt. Yeah, hyper potion. That's not good. Because I'm still locked into pedal dance. Uh, hopefully, I'm not getting confused this turn. Well, that sucks. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do here is just go for a... Let's go for a moon milk on Venusaur. Poison should take it out, unless she uses another Hyper Potion. Close combat. Oh, I will take this. Oh, wow. That still did a lot of damage. What the hell? It's crazy. Either way, Poison took it out. Nice bit of Poison stalling. And Glade is coming out. Alright, that's fun. Uh, that's another Psychic type. I do have Shadow Ball, and that's nothing lame on price. But I don't know if I want to risk that, honestly. Um, I'm gonna go into Prize or Tony here. What item are you holding? You're holding a Never Melt Ice, of course you are. You're holding the Life Form. Let's go into Tony. I feel like it'll be the best idea. There we go, first time as a Flygon. Here we go. That's crazy level differences. I think we should be fine here. Um, what else? More base power? Bug Buzz or Dragon Pulse? I think Dragon Pulse does, right? 85. Oh, Bug Buzz does. Okay. I thought Bug Buzz was base 80 power, but not base 90. See how much this does? Wow, that was almost a one shot. Damn. Definitely very, very strong. Alright, Dragon Pulse, here we go. I think I actually prefer flying on better this way as a special attacker, honestly. Feels nice. Alright, Toxic Rogue's coming out. I could just stay in, but what's the fun in that, right? Although I don't think I have another choice. Actually, let's see if Teflosion can KO him in one hit. With flamethrower. Hopefully this thing doesn't have sucker punch. Actually, it, it might have sucker punch. Could will o wisp it. Predicting a sucker punch. Let's go will o wisp. Ah, uh, it didn't go for sucker punch. Damn. I should have just gone for flamethrower. See, even with a burn, it's probably still gonna. Okay. Oh wow, one HP. Are you kidding me? Wow, living on one HP. <laughs> All right, let's get that hyper potion up. I probably should have used hyper potion first and then go for the willowis, but hey, at least it's burned now. Ice sponge. Uh, please don't freeze me. Although I do think flame wheel gets me out of it. All right, flamethrower, let's go. Goodbye, Toxic Rogue. See you later. <laughs> I can't believe I lived on one hate speed, dude. That's crazy. Alright. And your last is a Lucario. Oh, easy. Easy pickings here. Oh, but this is in the end, my friend. Yes, it is. Oh, it actually is faster than me. Damn. Yeah, this uh, little Teflosion has a different nature. It has a plus attack nature. Um, and doesn't have a plus speed nature like the other one did, which is kind of unfortunate, but that's alright. This one has adaptability, which is just far better. You know what we really need is just a choice scarf. Oh god, that's a focus ash. Damn. Damn. Alright. Um, well, Teflotion, I think you might have to take one for the team, unless... I go to Tony. No, I don't want to risk him outspeeding me. Let's just... Oh, actually? Perfect. 
you start hyper potion. That means I'm just gonna KO her this turn. All right, that works. I love how the flamethrower actually looks like it comes out of Teflos's mouth. That's a pretty cool touch. All right, there we go. Level 42 for Teflotion. Doesn't want to learn anything new. That's fine. I shall admit defeat. You are much too strong. Got a lot of money. And, of course, we got the Cowl Badge. Very nice. Only cost us an Electabuzz. They were not doing enough luck, so we're fine. <laughs> Um, I should explain about that official Pokemon League Gym Badge. With it, you can use the to move fly outside the battle. Oh, and please take this as well. TM60, is that Drain Punch? Yes, it is. Alright, cool. Um, I don't think anyone can learn that. Maybe Electabuzz when he evolves? Maybe? Not sure. He might. Can he, uh, That would actually not be a bad move to have on elect uh, Electivire. Um, I don't think he can learn it now. Let's see. Yeah, no, unable. Everyone is unable to learn it. Hopefully, uh, it might... Uh, hopefully, uh, it will be able to learn it once it evolves. That'd be great. Hi, Kevin. Please, can you help me? Some team collected you and took my Pokedex away from me. I need your help to get it back. I'll be waiting in front of the warehouse. Please come. Okay. Let's go ahead and help ha ha I was gonna say Han. What? <laughs> Don. Let's go ahead and help Don get our Pokedex back. But before we do that, we're gonna have to heal up our Pokemon, of course. To be in minty, fresh condition. Alright, 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 alright. Let's go ahead and use someone that we didn't use in the gym. Let's go ahead and switch prize up front. I feel like we've... It's been a while. Since we've really given Prize some good screen time, so let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and deal with his goons. You tried to get the Pokedex back from us? Not when we, Team Galactic, can make so much better use of it. But okay, guarding the warehouse does get boring. We'll take you on too, on too. Oh, I have to talk to Don, I forgot about that. Hi Kevin, please, can you help me? Do you remember Team Galactic? Those horrible people. They tried to steal Professor Rowan's research results in Triple Life, remember? I ran into them and they took away my Pokedex. Please, I need your help. Team up and battle me. Sure. You and your Pokemon together with me and my Pokemon. United like this, our dream team has no chance of losing. I'm not letting those bad people get away with their dirty deeds. I mean... I don't see why you would need my help, Don, because looking at your Pokemon, you could probably just easily take them on at the same time. Actually, you know what, they don't have that bad Pokemon in this one. Okay, I can kind of see it now. You still have the Kadabra, come on, man. Find someone to evolve that with. Alright, I can't Earth Power the Weezing, but I can Earth Power the Stone Tank. So let's do that. Man, Price's coverage is insane, dude. I mean, instead of the Nevermelt Ice, I should give it, like, um, the Wise Glasses, or like a Choice Specs when we get that. We did get a Choice Band in the last episode, which is kind of useless to us, of course. I wonder if we're gonna get a Choice Specs uh, somewhere in the game as well, or if I actually need to um, buy that from the... Uh, what you might call it? If I need to buy that from the game corner, I could buy it from the game corner. Just give Price the choice bags. This choice bags ice beam is gonna hurt real, real hard. But at the same time, I'd like I I do want to be able to switch my moves around, so maybe giving it the wise glasses would be better. I don't know. Obviously, choice bags boosts a lot more. It's like one point. Five, or is it actually two times? I actually, I actually, I always forget about the exact numbers, but that's all right. Um, let's go ahead and go for Ice Beam, I guess. Warm it up. This is a pretty easy battle. Price is just too strong, and Don having a Kadabra against all these poison types kind of helps as well. Like, really, though, you could have just probably handled this yourself. Maybe not, because Kadabra is pretty frail, so they would have teamed up. Eh, probably not. 
Probably not. You definitely need my help. I need my two kids. This isn't right. I should have kept my head down and just watch out with a rare house. Oh, that stings. I broke my chumps. We should get new ones from the headquarters. <laughs> Who cares about some Pokedex anyways? The Neglect is going to own all the Pokemon in the world. No, in the universe. There, take it. Take your stupid Pokedex. Those things we had in the warrior house have already been moved to Pasoria City anyway. So we'll say, you'll get yours and run like the grunts we are. What's going on? Why is Team Galactic out in the streets like they own the place? Kevin, thank you sincerely. I would have been lost without my Pokedex. It's indispensable for helping Professor Rowan with his studies. So Kevin, what are you going to do now? I'm thinking of going to the Pokemon Mansion on Route 212. I heard I saw some rare Pokemon to visitors there. Well, we've already been there. Have no fear. I have come running. I heard of children feuding with the Team Galactic. It turns out, of course, to be you. Oh, it's that funny man from Jubilife. You insulted me to my face? How very uncouth of you. I'm terribly sorry. Team Galactic took my Pokedex, so I was very irritated. I just blurted it out. I should be going now. Be wary of Team Galactic. It is of no matter. Of more interest is the criminal behavior of Team Galactic. They have to steal the belongings of a child the scale of their criminality. It seems rather minuscule. The triviality of their action makes them more sinister, perhaps. Their warehouse needs investigation. Come with me, I will take a look. Alright. Let's go ahead and take a little peek inside the warehouse. Hmm, a key is necessary for us to go on. For the time being, we cannot give chase to who those who will run away. Aha! This hidden machine! It is the move hit and fly. It's the hit and move fly. Kevin, this you should be keeping. I would not do to leave this item here to be used by Team Galactic. It will not do. I cannot read today. I don't know what's going on. Like any other day. I, I can never read properly. So, we did not learn very much from this exercise. No matter. What concerns me is that I have overheard in the game for that Team Galactic has transported something to Pistoria City. What they are up to, I do not know. But I have bad feelings about it. Alright, let's pick up HMO2 Fly. So now, we can actually fly to where the name raider is. Which was... Where exactly? I don't remember. Uh, I'm gonna have to give Fly to Flygon here. I mean, it's meant to be. It's called Flygon. He has gotta have Fly, right? Kinda sucks somewhat because it could learn so many good moves that I kinda don't wanna get rid of it, but I kinda have to. Also, let me uh, give Earthquake to Teflotion before I forget that. I think Teflotion might be able to learn Earth Power as well at some point, but I don't know when exactly. Let's just turn Earthquake for now. It'll be better than Flame Wheel because we already have Flamethrower. Alright, we're back at Eternate City because this is where the name raider is, and I believe... It's over here, right? Yeah. Okay. It's kind of in a weird position, honestly. This is not where I thought it was originally. I actually had to look it up. But anyways... I think, um, instead of Kabu, we're gonna name this Teflotion Blaine. After, obviously, the first Fire-type Gym Leader, the one from Kanto, Blaine, there we go, and Venusaur we're going to name, oh, oops, we're going to name this Venusaur Milo, which is kind of funny, because we had a Gen 8 name for Teflotion beforehand, and a Gen uh, 1 name for uh, Venusaur beforehand. But now, we have a Gen 8 name for Venusaur, and a Gen 1 name for Teflotion, so it's kind of swapped around. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. That is what the team is going to be right now. We have Milo the Venusaur, and Blaine the Teflotion. Beautiful. Alright, now let's go ahead and fly back to Filsum. Alright, now obviously in the last episode, we already went through this route, so uh, we don't need to do that anymore. 
Um, still not gonna talk to the TV recorder because they're really not really gonna give me anything good. But yeah, um, now that we have fly, we can easily back uh, travel to places we've already visited before, which is kind of nice. Um, but yeah, in the next episode, we are going to be going through the Valor Lakefront and uh, see what awaits us over through this route. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode for now, and I will see you guys then. Thanks for watching.